Hey everyone, today we'll go over another Airbnb phone screen interview question. The question is given a list of activities, find the minimum number of activities to fully occupy the target hours. You can repeat the same activity more than once. Let's get started. Let's say we have the following activities. Hiking, VR game, and movie. And they take one hour, two hours, and three hours respectively. If our target hours is 3, a single movie activity would give the minimum number of activities. If our target hours is 7, two movies and a hiking activities would give the minimum number of activities. Similar story when our target hours is 8. Let's see how we can do this programmatically. One easiest way to do this is to look at all possible combination that adds up to the target hour and see what the minimum number of activities is. This is the brute force approach. During the actual interview, I started with this, br this brute force approach and actually failed one of their test cases because the algorithm simply took too long to complete. Another approach is to use dynamic programming. We can start by finding the minimum number of activities required to occupy one hour, two hours, three hours, and up to the target hours n. Every time we find the minimum number to occupy x hours, we store the result in this map so we can look it up in constant time. So when we fill everything out, this map will pretty much tell you that for the given hours x, what's the minimum number of activities to perform. Let me illustrate how we can exactly accomplish this. Let's start with one hour as our target. We go through all the given set of activities and see if including any one of them would yield the minimum number in total. The formula to find the minimum number of activities would look something like this. All right, let's start with hiking. So our target hours is one and activity hours is one. So remaining hours become zero. So map of zero is zero, just right here, plus one. So our min count becomes one for this. And let's look at VR game and movie. Target hours is still one, activity hours is two. This becomes a negative number. It means with a given target hour, it's not possible to perform either, sorry, it's not possible to perform this particular activity, this, this case, the VR game, or a similar story for movie. So these two would be simply impossible. So you update the target hour with one from here. All right, let's do something similar for target hours equals two. When we choose to do hiking, target hours is two, activity hours is one, so remaining hours is one. The map of remaining one, so map of one is one. So one plus one is two. So the min count is two when we choose to add hiking. Let's do the same for VR game. The target hours is two, activity hour is two. So this becomes zero, map of zero is zero. 0 plus 1 is 1, so the min count becomes 1 for this. In movie, it's similar, so it's impossible. So out of these two min counts, 1 is a small, smaller one, so you update it here with that count. Let's continue to fill our app map for 3 and 4 hours. For 3 hours, let's say we choose to do hiking. Then our remaining hour, so target hours is 3 in this case. And activity hours is one, so the remaining hours is two. So map of two is one, one plus one is two. So if we choose to include hiking, then the number of minimum count becomes two. Let's look at the VR game. So target hours is three again, uh, three again and activity hours is two, so this becomes one, and map of one is one. So one plus one is two again. So if you choose to include VR game, the minimum count becomes two. And let's say for the movie. The movie takes three hours. So the target hours is three, activity hours is three. So this becomes zero. 
and map up zero is zero. So zero plus one is one. All right, so out of all these options, one is the smallest. So the for target hours three, the minimum number of activity is once again one. All right, let's look at target hours equals four. When we choose to do hiking, once again, remain target hours is four, remaining uh, the activity hours is one, so the remaining hours is three. So minimum count, so map of three is one, and one plus one is two, so hiking becomes two. Let's say VR game. VR game is two hours. So target hours is four, activity hours is two, so this becomes two. So minimum count map of two is one. So one plus one is two again. A similar story for the movie, this becomes two. So these are all the same. So the target hours equal four, it will be two. All right, I hope this makes sense. And then you continue doing this until your target hour in. And this should give it, this should give you the minimum number of activities you can perform to fully occupy the target hour in. I pre-calculated the numbers up to target hours equals seven. As we discussed in our example slide, we can see that the minimum number to occupy the target hours three and seven matches with the answer we had earlier. It would take order of K times N to complete this, where K is the target hours and N is the number of activities. Spend some time to understand this algorithm and translate this idea into code. If you're done, compare with the full solution I included in the description section below. I hope this video helped you to prepare for technical interviews. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.